Hi, just a quick note before we dive into today's dev diary. Elements is available in early access and you can visit elementsapp.io to go and grab your copy now. And that way you can start building your site today and follow along in our weekly dev diary videos. All right, thanks uh, for watching this little intro and enjoy today's dev diary. Cheers, bye. Hi, I'm Dan and welcome to this week's Elements Developer Diary. Now, I've got quite a few updates to show you this week. Last week, we looked at the new modal components and we've also been working on another new component and that is the drop down menu component. So it's like a button and you can put a drop down menu on it. Now, I'm not going to show you um, that today. That will be, uh, I'll demo that later in the week, probably or next week. And both of those components will be coming very soon. They won't be in today's build because I've got some other stuff to show you. Um, and we want you guys to test out the changes we've been making here because there's kind of a lot of fundamental changes to the way the pages are managed. Um, so that kind of needs testing first and you'll see why because on the forum you it's come up quite a few times people are saying well this is great I can build out my menus here with pages and folders now um, but I'm missing off-site links like I need to link to an off-site page how do I get that in my menu so we started looking at that and thinking okay how are we going to implement this what's the nicest way we can do that and in our typical style, we got kind of sidetracked and the feature blossomed a little bit more and we added more stuff around it um, to make things more powerful because there were things we wanted as well. And I think you'll really dig them as well. So let's dive into that and I'll show you what's new. So we've got our um, page uh, inspector here or our uh, page manager, should I say, because the page inspector is over here. This is the page manager. And if I right click, we've now got some new options. I can add a new page, which is the standard page you're used to. And we've got new folder, which is the folders you're used to, used to working with all of this stuff. But we've got two new options called new file and new link. And I'm going to start by adding a new link. Now, this is an this is essentially an offsite page is an offsite link. So let's enter this in here. And because it's offsite, we need HTTPS. Um, and I'm just going to add in Google here. So google.com. So let's go ahead and add that. So you can see here, it's got a, um, a little link icon instead of a page. So you know, this is a link in your page hierarchy. Um, by default, they're set to hidden from the menu. So you won't see them in this top menu. But if we turn this off, um, go back to this page here. Um, let's just update this. Is that going to refresh? There we are. Um, it appears in the menu now. So we've got this. Um, but you obviously want to give that a title. So you don't want the offsite page to just appear like that. You need to give it a menu title. So if we go to our inspector, um, the title is currently set to what we gave it because we just enter that in by default, you know, the URL. But we can just say, uh, we can just call this Google. Um, and let's, uh, we've got a little menu updating issue there, but that is updated. Let's go and preview this in the browser. Uh, there we are. So now this appears as Google. So if I click on this, it takes me to Google. Perfect. Um, I've got some other links in here. So let's go ahead and drop this into my, oops, I dragged the wrong page. We want the Google links. Um, drop it into my links folder. There we go. Let's go in. Uh, let's go and preview the page. And now, um, Oh, it hasn't actually moved that. We've got a few, we've got a little, um, let me just update this page. We've got some update issues going on there. This is really fresh. This has just been added. Um, so I think what's happening there, just we haven't pushed the changes to the editor. So that will be fixed, hopefully in the build you get today, um, but we are aware of it. So let's go ahead and refresh this. And now we've got our, um, all our links in here and we can just click on them and it goes to the page. So this is really nice. So now, you know, that's how you can easily do uh, those offsite pages. Um, just to add them to your navigation like that. Um, yeah, and you can give them a title and change the URL in here. And obviously this little button will take you to the URL. So that is um, offsite pages. So uh, let's move on to the next option. We have new file. Now this allows you to add essentially a new file. Um, 
so this is just like a text file in here and by default these are hidden from the uh, menu again uh, but you can toggle this on and off for them to appear in the menu and they're just they can be html pages php pages uh, robots.txt .ht access files so you know we could call this one .ht access and you could pop this in um, in your root or in a subfolder um, and then add in whatever whatever rules you like so really flexible just to have some code files here now let's get rid of this one because uh, I've got I've got some pre-made examples which are a little bit better so I've got my code folder here and I've just got a very simple HTML page and it links to a styles.css page which is here so let's go and preview this page so very simple page uh, let's modify this CSS and let's just change uh, this background color and we'll go back to here and you can see it just updates just like that boom so really nice and this is really really useful if you've got some um, maybe some legacy pages from another system that you wanted to mix in with your current site and just have them here to work on you could paste in the HTML um, CSS whatever you needed you know and you can build up a whole structure in here so if we needed a, a new folder and um, you know you want to do scripts you've got some scripts in here uh, let me just give that a name um, you want to you've got some scripts and then I can do a new file and then perhaps um, you've got um, you know something that snows snow.js you can build this all up and build a whole site in here you know uh, um, really useful if perhaps you want to code your own uh, little back end to your website you've got some utility you want to add in here some script you can do that and the advantage of putting it in here is you get full control over the page um, or full control over the script and you can you know you can just click into here and write as you're working on your other pages you know you're building in this and then you want to add a bit more JS you could come in here and just edit it up so um, lots of use cases for this really really handy uh, I'm going to delete that um, yeah you know and the, you can see the syntax highlighting here got HTML syntax hi highlighting and um, this is obviously highlighting CSS and yes this does work for PHP as well so um, we've got PHP syntax highlighting uh, really nice so if you've got those little scripts or random little things you need to add to your site you can do that with these pages and you can as I said before you can obviously do it with HT access files as well you know I could put this in the um, in the root of my site along with my robots txt let me just put the home there um, so now I've got easy access to these um, two files that you know I just want to nip in change um, they're right there and I can do what I want rather than having to log into the server do the changes there you can have them right here in your folder structure and obviously this appears um, in the root because these are at the root but if you wanted stuff in a folder like I said before you can easily do that um, you know I could easily have a scripts folder at the root now um, and all my all my scripts would appear in here great or you know have that it's called admin and have a little admin back end really really flexible stuff so um, we hope you like these changes have a play around give us some feedback let us know what you're going to use them for what do you want to use them for i think the major use case will be having multiple ht access files or just having the ht access file right there um, rather than having to go to the um, publishing and manage it from there um, and also the robots.txt nice to have that in the root as well there so you can easily edit this uh, but let us know what you think you might use this for and um, if you are going to use it hopefully it meets your needs let us know if there's anything missing um, same with the links as well have a play around with that um, and yeah let us know uh, what you think and whether it does the job for you so uh, what else we've added a few more things as well um, let's just close this page down and we'll make get the 
page a bit bigger. Um, long time request for um, the ability to hide things on the page. And where is this? If I go to layout, this is a new option um, that we've added. So now you've just got a toggle. We've added it to pretty much everything, I think. Uh, and it'll be under layout, display. You can just toggle that, boom. And it hides the uh, hides the component from display or hides the whole um, the whole section, everything in it, display hidden, boom. So very handy if you've got those things that you don't want to display on the site, you just want them hidden for a moment, you know, want to get them out of the way. Uh, you can do that with that little option there. Very cool. We've also added uh, some more options um, and done some more work on SVG, you'll be pleased to hear. We um, now when you drop an SVG in here, we don't modify the file here, but we do um, we do look to strip out the um, some of the SVG code when we include it in the page. So we remove things like the width, the height, and if it's got a preset fill color, we switch it so that it um, update them so it works with our settings in here. So if I open up, um, I'm using this app, Icon Jar. I've just started using this. Pretty good. Um, and I've got a, a set of icons in here. So what I can do, I can just take um, take these, like I could take this one and drop it straight in here and it just works. Let me just hide those two things. Um, I haven't had to edit the code here. I've just dropped an SVG into here um, and yeah, we can change the color of it. Uh, let me put that back to brand. That's quite nice to make that light. Um, didn't have to do anything and the sizing, boom, it just works, which is really cool. So this is um, really nice. If you get yourself a good set of SVG icons from somewhere, there's plenty online, but then, um, you know, uh, let's have a look for an alert of some sort. Um, or warning. There we go. Uh, I just drop that in there. Boom. Just works. Really quick to work with. Once you've got a nice set of icons, you can drop them in your page and um, yeah, and, and modify them there. So that's really nice. Um, some nice little changes to SVG and uh, to the layout as well, adding this hidden option. There you go, just hide the icon, boom. Good stuff. So take a look at um, today's build because it will have all these changes I've demoed in them. Uh, it will have all these changes that you can play around with. The, uh, let me just go, let me go to my components. The modal and the drop down. Um, will be coming in a build soon. We're just, we don't want to put too much in each new build because we want to get the feedback on these new things. Otherwise, if we add loads of new stuff, which we've done in the past, it becomes a bit too much to manage it all and people reporting issues on different things. So we're trying to space them out a bit. So the next build will probably have the modal in it because I've already demoed that um, after this build. And so you can have a play around with that. And then the next build will have um, the drop down menu in it. And I'll obviously do a demo on that and show you how that works. So lots of stuff going on. We're working on even more stuff. We're moving at an alarming pace here and really pushing to get this finished up. And things are getting very exciting. Um, I, I'm sure I say that every week. But anyway, so um, yeah, that's it for this week. I hope you like the new build. Let us know what you think of these new features. And I will be back very soon with another um, with another dev diary and another release. All right. Thanks for your support. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye. Yeah.